Every agency in government has a passing grade on the latest Federal IT Acquisition Reform Act scorecard. Carol Harris of the Government Accountability Office told you on Government Matters yesterday how that scorecard could change going forward. David Pounders, Director of Strategic Engagement and Partnerships at MITRE. He's former Director of IT Issues at the Government Accountability Office and an architect of the Fatara scorecard. He testified at that hearing last week. Dave, welcome. It's good to see you again. What was the message overall that you wanted to convey to the, hear to the uh, committee at the hearing? Well, two, two things really, Francis. One is I think it was an opportunity to really recognize the great progress that has occurred over the five plus years since the TAR passed in 10 scorecards. And there's a lot of credit to go around, around the horn here. Uh, but the other thing too is the committee was very interested in how that scorecard uh, could evolve. And uh, you know, I had five recommendations that were very simple in my uh, statement. One was enhancing the uh, cyber area and then I proposed four new areas, many of which some of the existing categories could be folded into. All right, uh, let's review them quickly, uh, adding an infrastructure category, an IT budgeting and funding category, an IT workforce category, and a mission modernization category. For any of those that, that the committee would add, how do you measure those things, Dave? How do you decide what the criteria are for the grades that the agencies are gonna get? So Francis, great question. So a couple things here. One is you need to, with any scorecard, you need to focus on the right areas, have a way to simply measure it with the right data, and then ultimately you want that to result in the right outcome. So for instance, like on the infrastructure category, uh, you know, we've done a lot with data centers over the years and there's almost 5 billion in savings. But if we went to like an EIS type focus on the scorecard, you know, there's a way you could say, hey, if you haven't utilized that GSA contract vehicle, you get a failing grade. If you've uh, leveraged it, you get a C. You know, if you've levered it to a certain capacity of your network, you can then get A's and B's, right? And the whole, the whole purpose there is to get folks to utilize that contract vehicle more so that we have more modern and secure uh, networks in place, Francis. So, you know, that's one way you want to do that. And I could kind of go through all those four. And, you know, since I've been through this, it's really about to being real simplistic to drive the right behaviors, but having the right data. And that's really where it's going to be most difficult. And I thought Maria Roth's willingness to work with the committee was really good news when they started talking about that. And it's really not a big surprise. We all kind of know Maria and we, we kind of expect that. And and I think there's some good things that could happen if it does evolve with, you know, Maria, you know, driving the ship there a bit. Well, and it strikes me as tremendously useful just the fact that Maria is a known entity and she knows what she's talking about. She's so familiar and versed in all of these issues from the number of positions that she's held in the government. She doesn't have to learn. There's no learning curve here for somebody like her. What's the value of that to somebody like Jerry Conley and somebody like Carol Harris, your successor at GAO, to have a, a, a new partner in that seat that doesn't have to come up to speed? It's extremely valuable, Francis. And really too, when you look at, you know, she's been there, done that, and you look at the areas that are most in need of mission modern, uh, of modernization, uh, you know, if you look at the president's management agenda, this IT modernization category, you know, what's the hard stuff? It's mission modernization. You know, SBA with some of the loan processing systems, you know, you had mentioned prior to this, uh, the EHR initiative at VA, IRS tax processing. Those are the big things that we probably need to focus on and really leverage all the momentum and progress that we've made, you know, where we've enhanced CIO authorities, do we have a ways to go still to strengthen that as business partners and strengthening their relationship with CFOs? Sure, but let's not lose the momentum and let's really try to tackle those big mission critical things. And that's where Maria could really help with that focus. I want to talk about the trend lines in the time that we have left, Dave. I mentioned at the beginning, nobody's flunking anymore. Uh, the next Gov report on this says only one agency got an A+. USAID maintained its A grade. The Education Department dropped from A uh, down to B. Does that stuff matter or does it just matter that the general trend, the evolution seems to be from bad to better to good? It's clearly the general trend. I think the the specifics and the minutia of you know some of the things on the scorecard, whether it's an A or a B, it might not really matter that much. Uh, 
you know, I think what's really important is what the scorecard proved is that if you focus on something and measure it over time, you're going to see some progress. And that's where this whole evolution discussion that, you know, Chairman Conley and Ranking Member Heiss engaged in uh, is really important because there are these other areas that we need that type of measurement and focus, you know, to drive, uh, you know, better, to better serve citizens and to advance mission at the agencies. A minute left, Dave. Uh, what will you watch moving forward? How will you kind of measure the evolution of the scorecard as time goes on? So I, I think a couple things, Francis. I would love to see a mission modernization focus just because it's very difficult. Uh, you know, customer satisfaction, Richard Spires brought that up. Uh, you know, we really need to continue to enhance that relationship with CIOs and the business unit leads. You know, I thought Laverne Council's testimony too added a lot where she talked about a cultural measurement. She's absolutely right. The bureaucracies and culture are difficult to break down. Continue to enhance those CIO authorities and really tackle the hard stuff. That's going to be really important, I think, as we take the next step on, you know, what we call IT modernization. And, uh, you know, and, and again, whether it's scorecards or future legislation or additional OMB policy or future PMAs. You know, these are the areas that we're gonna to need to focus on. And collectively, I think the legislative and executive branch working together, that's a winning formula and hopefully we can continue that. Dave Pounder, thanks very much as always. Thank you, Francis.